All right, here we go, episode three of Bloodborne. We're gonna be doing the Hunter Axe miniature that you're playing. Yep. Uh, quick and easy, we're gonna do a different um, form of doing the white robes than we did on the Ludwig's Holy Blade. So just bear with me and watch it. It's an easier method. If this is your first time with the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the rest of the Bloodborne videos. But without further ado, let's go. The most tedious part of this model is painting the white. There is a decent amount of white on this, and do not worry about getting the white on the black or in places you don't want to get it, it doesn't matter. So feel free to slap that paint on. Don't be too crazy about it because we're going to paint over the parts we need to here in a future step, and we're going to be doing some dry brushing to make this thing pop out here in a little bit. But we're going to be using Corax White, and we are following the card art for all the miniatures we're painting for this game. So we're going to be doing the outside of the robes on the back, the shoulders, the collar, and some portions on the back of our miniature. So just follow along what I'm doing and turn on some music and let's do the, do the damn thing. We're gonna create our wash. We're gonna do two to three drops or brushfuls of Lamia Medium. Then we are gonna put two to three drops of Nolan Oil, depending on how much you wanna make. And in the next step, we're gonna do a one drop of Draconoff Nightshade. And that's gonna give us our shade that we wanna put on the miniature right now. This is just for the robes. We're gonna slap that wash we just created on top of our miniature and as you can see it's pretty thin and that's exactly what we want we don't want it to be so overpowering that it takes away from the white we just want to make it look kind of dirty it's clean but dirty if that makes any type of sense at all and that's all we're going to do and then we're going to let it dry if you have a heat gun or blow dryer use that we are going to take our Citadel dry paint, which is Parexetti white. If you do not have this, just go over it again with Corax white from Citadel. We are then going to take all of that paint off that dry brush. Take it all off. You're, if you don't see any of it when you put it on your back of your hand, I guarantee it's there. So we want as light as possible and we're just going to go back and forth on this model the entire way from the white. If you get it on anything else, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. So don't have to be careful. We are going over all the white pieces and we're picking out the raised areas and surfaces of our miniature. And we are grabbing all of those edges and we're making out little pieces that are going to pop out and it, you can still see the dirtiness of the wash that we had on there, but now it's brightened up in certain spots and that's all we're going to do for the robes. For the front of the robes that if you can see on the card art that kind of look goldish, they kind of look yellow, I wanted to make it stand out a little bit, do a little contrast. So we're going to do a little Retributor armor and we're going to be going up and down those, I guess you could say, detailed portions of our robe and we are picking those portions out. Now, now we want to be careful about not getting it into the white because we just went over with our dry brush. So be very careful when doing these steps around the white. We're also going to be hitting that face mask with the Retributor armor. Also getting the, all the bells and whistles on the front of the miniature. Um, just be careful again, take your time. I also decided to paint the lantern with the gold. Um, I'm not gonna do any object, object source lighting. It just takes too much time and we were just trying to paint these miniatures to make them look decent to put them on the table. 
I had missed this portion on the back cape when I was originally painting, so obviously you can see kind of into the future on this clip. But I'm painting these back portion with Retributor armor. For the axe blade and the shaft of our axe, we are going to be using lead belcher. Now when we're doing the shaft, we're not looking at the rag portions of the shaft, we're just hitting the top portions that stand out. If we can keep that black in the recess, let's do that. For the engraving portion of our axe, we're going to be using Balthazar Gold. And for our gold chain mill or chain link, we're going to be using Balthazar Gold as well on that. For all of the cloth covering on our blade, we're going to be using Xandri Dust to go over all those. Again, take your time. If you mess up, we can go back over with some lead belch or whatever color you need to clean up on it. Just watch out for that white and just take your time and go around it. Keep some of that darkness in the recesses though. For our hat and the gloves of our miniature, we're going to be using Rhinox Hide, and we're going to be going over those um, very carefully, especially the gloves. We again do not want to touch that white, and we're just taking our time. No rush. For our little bootsies, we're going to be using a little Skaven Blight Dinge, and this is just kind of making it gray. There's not a lot of gray on this miniature, and we're just kind of make the boots a little, eh, whatever. For the bow tie, or whatever it is that comes down from the chin neck area we're going to be using a little dark reaper it's just blue mixed with some black if you want to make that color yourself all right we're going to start cleaning up some areas that's on the card that we got with our white and we're going to be using abaddon black to clean up our areas or whatever black you have so it's going to be on top of the shoulders that we're going to be cleaning up and the back cape that we're going to be cleaning. Again, please, 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 please take your time. If you mess this up, it's okay. Grab a little white scar or whatever white you have, thin it out and clean up whatever you've got on there. If it's black, it's going to take a couple, two to three layers to get that black off that white. If you got dab it on there and you notice that your paint is still wet, Get your finger on there or put a little water onto an extra paintbrush and dab that paint off to get it off wherever it was not supposed to be on. And here we're just getting the front just to clean it up a little bit. Inside the lantern, we're just gonna do a little Averland sunset just to make it like a yellow ish glowing thing all 
All right, we're gonna make our wash for the rest of the miniature, and it's gonna be half and half of Nolan Oil and Agrax Earth Shade. I think I did two to three drops or brushfuls of each to make my wash for this. And we're gonna go over all of the non-white portions of our miniature. So everything besides the white portion, be careful when you're doing this. You don't want to get it on the white. If a little bit gets on, it's okay. Try and wipe it off with your finger or an extra brush with some water on it. But we're just going to go over the entirety of the miniature and let it dry completely. While you're letting this dry, why don't you head over to our Instagram, nerd.nights, and give us a follow on there, as I'm always posting new things that are coming up, and you kind of get a preview of the new videos coming out. And as I'm finishing up on here, you can notice that I did mess up and get it on a portion that wasn't, so I had to use my finger real quick. Easy peasy. Um, I'm using a glaze, Lamenter's Yellow from Citadel. You don't necessarily need this. It's kind of not necessary to do this. I just did it to kind of give it a little bit of a glowing glaze of yellow. After we're completely dry, we're going to start our highlighting of this miniature. I'm taking Liberator Gold and I'm going to be highlighting all of the gold pieces that we got so far. This is a very subtle paint that doesn't give you a whole lot, it just makes the brightness pick up just a little bit. And for the detail portions on the robe, I'm just hitting those crisscross areas and on the edges. And I'm just taking my time and being very careful. I'm making sure I get the lantern portion and the only thing I'm not doing for the gold portion I'm not doing the visor that is on his face because it is dark and grimy in the picture and I want to keep it that way I don't want any brightness on our miniature for the blade I'm going to be using some Ruined Fang Steel and I'm going to just do some basic edge highlighting on this portion of it. Uh, we don't want it to be over bright. Again, these miniatures are a very dark looking miniature, so we don't want to go crazy with the, with the brightness and the tones. So we're just going to be doing edge highlighting and we're going to be doing the, the blade and the top spear-like and just little portions of the handles themselves in between the cloth. Also, you want to hit the chain that is connected to the lantern and any other silver pieces that we're looking at. I'm trying to go over the handle portions and just doing a real light, kind of almost like a dry brush, just to get some of that, that silver picked up just a little bit. We're just going to touch up that Dark Reaper with some extra Dark Reaper, and that's all we're going to do for that little bow tie. For our Xandry Dust, we're going to do the same thing for the cloth. We're just going to pick out little pieces, leave some of that highlighting or some of the recesses dark, and we're just picking out little pieces here and there, trying to make it stand out just a little bit. We want to keep the miniature dark looking. And we're almost taking kind of like a dry brush of Balthazar Gold and picking those little pieces out again. You want to keep the recesses of the lettering dark, so don't get into the recesses of it. 
to be starting to pick out some of the black portions. We're just gonna use some very thinned out. If you want to, you can use Lamy Medium. I just mix some water in there more than normal onto my wet palette. And we're picking out edge highlighting of the of the black with the little Skaven Blight dinge. And it might be a little bright when it comes on, but once it dries, it looks pretty good. And all it does is make that black have basically two tones. So we're doing the front portion and we're doing the back. I also did the shoulder pads that are black and the back portions of the hood and the black cape. For the face, he has a very pale face like all of these miniatures do for Bloodborne and we're going to use Rackarth Flush. For the hair, we're going to use a little Mornfang Brown. Just be very careful. Shade that skin with a little Reichland flush shade. And we're just going to highlight it back up with a little Rackarth flush just to make it stand out just a little bit more and it's going to peel it down just a little bit more. If you want to take it one step further, you can mix Rackarth Flush with a little Pallid Witch Flush and get that really pale skin, but I decided not to. I felt like this was enough and this was perfectly fine for my tabletop standard of the miniature I want to play with. Now just recoat the base with a little Abaddon Black and we are done. And that's it folks, we did it. It's not a hard process, Wasn't didn't take too long, and I felt like that was a little bit easier than the white we did for Ludwig's Holy Blade. So I think it turned out pretty good for the amount of steps we did, and it's perfect for tabletop standards. This ain't gonna win you awards, but I ain't trying to win awards. I'm trying to play board games. That's all I care about, and I wanna play board games with painted miniatures. I want to thank everybody for watching uh, this video, and if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you enjoy this, and if you're not a subscriber, I hope you do subscribe, because um, we're going to be doing a lot more videos in the future. But I appreciate you watching and taking time out of your busy day. All right, everybody. Paint on.